Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, if it's your first time here, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much. Welcome back. Happy Sunday. Hope everybody's staying warm. It's freezing cold at the Jersey Shore. We just had some snow. It didn't stick, but it's like below zero that we got alerts on our phone to stay off the roads. So um, yeah, it's really cold out. I don't mind it at all. I love the winter. Um, so I have some empties. I, yesterday I did my Scentsy empties. I think I got through a lot more Scentsy than I did Vendor the past two weeks, which is fine. Um, so I wanted to start fresh since I did Scentsy yesterday. So let me do my Vendor basket and then I'm all clean and then Right in the middle of January, the last two weeks, everything's a fresh start. So let me start with non-wax. Uh, I did, I replaced um, a wallflower in my kitchen and I put an iced lemon pound cake. This is a really good one. And I had one left. This was a two pack of eucalyptus rain. So I have that right now going in the basement. Every time I open my upstairs door, to go down or when I come in through the garage to come up, it smells so good. It's a repeat for me. Eucalyptus Rain is an excellent scent and it's a very, very good performer. Really, really good. Candles. Pink Lavender and Espresso. And it's Rich Pink Lavender, Caramel Espresso Beans and Smooth Vanilla. This is so good. I had two of these and this was my last one, but it was really good. I liked it. I would get it again if I saw it on sale. I didn't even, I don't even know if it's even available anymore. And then in the guest bathroom, I did winter and the notes are not on the single wicks, but definitely very outdoorsy. Yeah, it's, Mm, it's so good. It's like fresh air with, I, there must be trees, but a light scent. But it's, I know it's very popular and I know it's a few people, it's their favorite and I understand why. So that's winter, very good one. Then I pulled out, and don't ask me what this was from Traverse City Wax. She did um, car car i'm calling them car bars they're not car bars like um for your home like fragrance for your car i just i i took this out i don't remember what set it was i got them a while ago and i put in apple cider donuts now not good performers i don't even know if she's offering them anymore if she is hopefully she gets them stronger because they're not at all um okay I found these out from Susan, but I think Brandy uses them too. There's a few people I was watching, but I got these because of Susan off Amazon. They're the parchment, the paper cupcake for your warmers. And um, so when I use scoopables, I use these. Um, it makes life so, so easy. And for me, once you shut them off, it pops out, I can reuse them until they become like dingy and then I throw them out, but I reuse them and I got them on Amazon and I think I got three of these boxes. It was like a deal if you got the three pack. I have one box left. Um, samples. Emma of Normandy from Teddy Bees. It's dark berries, warm vanilla and orchid. And on my note, I wrote, because I just looked it up on Teddy Bees on Facebook. I wrote Fruity Floral, not a favorite, but I enjoyed it in the bathroom. So I wrote Fruity Floral. Okay, yeah, Dark Berry and Orchard. So that's not one I would want more of, but it was nice in the bathroom. Um, Sassy Girl Aroma. It's So Sweet Vanilla. This was good. Not one I want more of. From Scoopable to Heart Wax. This was so good. I, I have a hot plate in my kitchen and it's a pretty big one. So I just popped, you could have cut this in half, but it's so big. I just popped the whole thing in and it went all day and night. 
I want more of this. It's raspberry custard pie. Raspberries folded into custard and baked in a pie shell. This was so, so good. Could still smell it. This was a 10. An absolute 10. Axel's here and she's... She's talking on her iPad, I think, to my son and he's busting her right now. Okay, from Keys, White Birch. Very, very good. Carla does tree scents so, so good. Traverse City, Snickerdoodle Zucchini, another one. So good. I would absolutely, I think I've even had this in a bakery bag in the past. Destination Wax, That Man in Granada. It just says that man mixed with spiced pomegranate, cider, fruity, fresh, with a bright cologne note. So I'm really not into cologne scents that much. So this wouldn't be a repurchase, but I appreciate that I had it as a sample. And it went great in the bathroom all day. Like I didn't mind it, but it wasn't one I'm, I need more of. Then from that Smell Good Shop, so good. Baked apple bread. Baked bread, sweet apples, and spice. And I think I got this from Jason when he sent me some, that Smell Good Shop. I think for my birthday, Jason sent, and I think this came as the sample, and this was yum, like yum, so good. This one little piece I put in my kitchen tea light one morning, and then I had some like coffee or something else going in there, and this was so good. All that went the whole eight hours of the tea light. You smelled it. Then, um, okay, it's it for samples. I crocked. I had a donut shape. This is from October of 21 from VCS. It's Craven Warm Spices Sugared Apples and Vanilla Ice Cream. So it was a blue donut, and I put that in my, uh, in my crock in the game room. Days. It went for days. It smelled so good. VCS, she closed shop, but I have so much VCS, so I'm okay. Um, made to Melt, I did her 12 Days of Halloween box. So far, everything I have warmed from there, and then you got um, Bart, like um, Breakaway Melts. So worth, it was like $35 for 12 of these. Worth every penny. I will absolutely get it again next year. I still have a few left. This one was Harvest Cake. So, so good. Sis is the owner of Made to Melt. I love her wax. Almost everything I've warmed of hers, I love. I love her strawberry. I love so many of hers. So um, this is pumpkin, mac apple, cinnamon, carrots, apples, vanilla, and cake. Again, I would definitely next fall again do her 12 days of Halloween. This, not so good. This is from September of 21. And I thought I would love it. So I got like three or four of these. Well, this was my last one. Bear Claw Bread Pudding from Destination Wax. Right up my alley with the set notes. It's a cinnamon custard bread pudding made with Bear Claw pastries so it was light on cult when i first got it i let it sit like six months later i did it was uh the breakaway where there's like six pieces is her breakaway six pieces i think or maybe eight i don't know but i did it like six months after i got it because it was like scentless on on cold and then i started to warm them still couldn't smell this is my last one this would not be a repurchase literally there was no scent l3 i finished up the word bar of cabin in the woods malo fireside earl gray tea and vanilla buttercream very very good dexter pours which is now a3 i think she's called a3 this is bourbon butterscotch, and it is heavy cream butterscotch, fine-aged bourbon whiskey, and vanilla. 
So this was very, very good. The first few hours, buttery. It was very, very buttery that I even wrote on my note, buttery, like in the middle of the day. So I remembered. But then that night when I went in my game room, I started to get the bourbon, the whiskey. So it changed over. It went from the first few hours, very buttery. And then after that, you started to smell the bourbon. So this was really, really good. And not that I need more, but I really, really enjoyed this. Yeah, this is like over two years old. Then, um, oh, I have another candle here. I'm sorry. Homework, Sugar Benet. I finished this up. Very, very good. This is French pastry, powdered sugar, sponge sugar, vanilla, and cinnamon. This was really, really good. Like if I went into Home Goods or a TJ Maxx and I saw this and it was like a good deal, I would absolutely get another one of these. And look how, look how gorgeous this jar is. So this really burned beautifully. If you see that in there, it might be me from moving it or something. But I had pretty good luck. The only thing were the wicks, which is usually my issue with homeworks, is the wicks and no scent. I I, I have I haven't I don't buy homeworks anymore, um, but I do have quite a bit left. Um, his wicks just really they suck, honestly. So I save this now. I'm gonna freeze it to pop that out, and then I use the jar like to put lip glosses or makeup brushes or I use it in my office or I share it. I'll give this to like one of the girls in my office for her desk. So I never could throw these. I just can't throw these jars out. They're just too beautiful. So I find some kind of use from them or I give it away. Pharmacist daughter. Now my melting challenge, most of my melting challenge I did yesterday with Scentsy. I do have a couple things, Venger, but I'm going to say 90% of melting challenge was Scentsy this the past two weeks because I did warm I did get through a lot of my Scentsy pharmacist daughter oh my god I had a couple of small souffles I had like three of them and this was my last one of Jolly Jelly I love this so much this was poured July of 21 so two and a half years old and the scent notes oh my god this was so good Jelly donut, cupcakes at Tiffany's, vanilla sugar waffle cone, and zucchini bread. Jolly jelly. Going in my reorder basket one of these days. I have too much pharmacist to order right now to look or to order, which is almost every vendor for me right now. I need to make a big dent. Ravencliff. I mean, I do have two pre-orders out there. I have salt melt and melts. And then I did wax what both like under a hundred dollars and then wax Wednesday with super tarts. I did. And um, I, I am going to put a K's order in soon. She's my next who I'm getting from, but I I have to have like a farm do vendor weeks. That's what I need to do is vendor weeks. One of my absolute favorites from pharmacist order is her Raven Clef. And this is blue Blue sugar, wood, sage, sea salt, and zucchini bread. This is so good. And I've had Carla from K's dupe it for me. And she dupes it perfectly. Like literally perfectly. I feel like I found this blend from Pharmacist Daughter. That's why I, from Ansley and Kim. So I would get more if they had it and I'm ordering. Because I feel they... I got found that blend from them, but Carla does it excellent too. And I don't need any more of that. I have a few blue sugars. I do not pull blue sugar that much. I really need to finish other blue sugar blends I have before I even think of ordering anything with blue sugar right now, but I do enjoy it. Um, lavender and speckles. I got through quite a bit. Loved, I think pretty much everything. Yeah. So, Polo bread and cake. I did, I finished this off in Axel's playroom yesterday and I wrote more. It is Palo Santo blended with zucchini bread, fresh baked cake, and sweet vanilla buttercream. I have three hearts on it. This was a, this was a 10. It was so good. Performance, 
duration all day. Speckles birthday cake, absolutely love this. It's birthday cake blended with sugar cookies, pecan waffles, cinnamon vanilla, and lots of Paula. So, so good. And I wrote on my note, I posted this on Facebook, on her Facebook page. I alternated this with her espresso. So Axel's playroom is here and the dining room's across from it. So in my dining room, the same day, I did her espresso buttercream pretzel from her pretzel sampler. I will not hesitate, even though I don't need wax and I still have quite, I have a few left from her pretzel sampler. I don't know what she's offering. I think February, she's doing another pre-order. I don't want to, I have a date in my mind, but I could be wrong. I feel like I have February 6th in my head, but it might've been January 6th or last one that I missed. Cause I don't realize with her pre-orders, they only go a couple hours. I'm used to pre-orders, like, I guess like Teddy B's where you get like two day, two full days and a few others that do pre-orders, but hers only lasts a few hours like Dessa's does. So Dessa is the same way. So um, if she offers the pretzel sampler again, I would definitely get it. This was such a good day. So that's what I did on such a great day. Then um, I worked on, I did two night, two different nights and like I did one night and then a couple weeks later, I finished it off another night in my room. Her beach nights in Palo Santo. And this is, it says, I can't read that one. True to its name, Beach Nights and Palo Santo goodness. Okay. Very, very, very good. Then her salted pretzel Palo. Another one from her pretzel sampler. Oh, yum. Salted pretzels, vanilla ice cream, Palo Santo, and marshmallow fireside. A 10. I would take this in a in a loaf. I would take this in a loaf. That's how good it was. So I don't even need to save these because I know her pretzel's excellent. So I love it. Then um, Dessa's and Super Tarts. So I only have like a few pieces left of coffee on Main, which is Don't Be Grumpy Coffee First, Ground Beans and Fresh Brewed Coffee. So this is old. And then in her last pre-order, I got, I got her big loaf in coffee on Main because I love it that much. So I have a whole big loaf. So I finished this off. There were just a couple pieces in here that I was hoarding until I knew she was going to offer it again. And she did. And I got it. I'm just letting it sit because I'm telling you with Dessa's for me, when I warm her stuff that's two years old, I get excellent performance. If I warm her stuff in the first year, I get performance, but not like I'm do. I get on the wax that's two years old. That's all I'm gonna say. The longer Dessa sits, I guess it's like Teddy B's. The longer it sits, the better it gets. That's my experience. I know others have different. Some people could get it and warm it right away and have a great experience. I'm talking my experience. And then I had a few pieces left from Super Tarts of Grannies, so I mixed them in my kitchen, like the couple pieces, couple pieces. I have a tea light, a hot plate, and four warmers and an element I have in my kitchen. So that's how I finished it. This is Granny's Cappuccino Pie Crust and Sugar Milk. A ton. This is so, so good. Granny's from Super Tarts. Coffee on Main. Alternated warmers in my kitchen. It went all day. I know some people don't like their coffee to go all day. They just want it a few hours. I can I will not complain because I drink coffee all day. I need to stay awake all day with my work and stuff. And I love when my coffee lasts. Sometimes it don't, and that's okay too. Um, but this was really good. Talking about keys just before. Okay, Crystal Lake, Autumn Flannel, Pine Cones, and Midnight Waters. Definitely want more of this, but I'm gonna wait till the summer. Because in the summer, I did her fall blends. Then now, Axe, are you crying? I think she's kidding around. When she does 
when I go in in the summer, I always do happy birthday to me because my birthday's in August and that's my birthday to me is buying keys. So I get a lot of her fall winter. And now when it's coming, now in the winter, I get more of her spring summer. So this is gonna go into my, my summer ordering and I'm gonna work on getting some spring summer of hers now. Here's another one I did. Blue sugar, zucchini bread, warm vanilla sugar, a custom that I did with Carla, which is, which is very similar to the pharmacist's daughter one. But the pharmacist's daughter one, now I can't find it. I'm in, my, I'm in the garbage here. Had another note too on it. But I got this idea from, from the pharmacist's daughter. I don't know, it's buried in the recycling. Excellent blend, definitely. We'll get more. Then from Alexis, from my Alexis Schluter here, we all know Alexis, she had sent me a random act of kindness and in it was white clouds. Bergamot, white lily, geranium, and violet. I did this in the bathroom. So I worked on it for like the last month and a half, throwing a cube in the tea light in the kids' bathroom. I only have a tea light in there. And I worked on this for a while. This was very, I actually, the the first time I warmed it, my like, yeah, definitely a bathroom scent. Then the second time I warmed it, I liked it a little more. Then I liked it a little more. By the end, I'm like, I really, the more I warmed it, the more I liked it. So that was really good. Thank you, Alexis. Then I finished in the crock. I had a piece left and I'm, I was really happy to be done. I, I, I wasn't, this wasn't a favorite scent of mine. I'm probably in the minority. I know Charity loves this. It's Evangeline from Teddy Bees. And it is mossy oak trees, wild poppies, citrus sandalwood, southern breezes, and warm amber. This is from March of 23. I finished it in the crock. It was a loaf. And I finished this. I had like some left. And I'm like, let me just, I'm trying to finish what's going. So a lot of what I have here is like what's going. And I just want to. Get, I'm not putting winter scents back. I'm just trying to finish them in the crock. So I put this in the crock and it actually, great performance, just not a, a scent I need more of. Then um, I have some melting challenge here. I love that song, Axe. Super Tarts, Palo Santo, Middle Earth. This wasn't from the Melting Challenge, this one. But I had, did this in the crock. I had a few pieces left and I have, I have more. So I wanted to get done with this because look at this bag. It's a couple years old. And it's Palo Santo, Dirt, Rosemary, and Mint Leaf. And I absolutely love it. Will always want this in my collection and will hoard. Like if I have half a bag left, I will hoard it till I know I have more on the way. So good. You know what? I'm wondering if that could be duped from Carla. I'm going to keep the, put this with my Carla collection and talk to her and see if we could dupe that or even come close to it. Okay, then more super tarts I did. On January 1st, we had um, melt a fresh scent for a fresh start. So with my Scentsy... I did Mediterranean Spa and Atlantic Air in some areas of the house. Then the other areas, I did Super Tarts, Cotton Candy, Soft Laundry, and Palo Santo. Oh, Axe is playing such good music. And I did Cactus, Sea, Salt, Buttercream, and Palo Santo. Yum. Look at this bag. This These are so... I don't normally like laundry scents, but with the with the cactus sea salt and the buttercream, this is so, so good. The cotton candy and the soft laundry Apollo. I love them both. And this was a great January 1st for a fresh new start with the Atlantic Air and the Mediterranean Spa going in my house. It was a great, great day. Really good. On January 6th, I it was cuddle up with a cozy scent. 
So I finished, I had half left in here and this is from Laurid. She's at, she shut down right now. I don't know if she's coming back. And I did um, Cozy and it is sweater weather type. That's what she has on here. And I gotta tell you, I got more better performance on warm than I thought I was because on cold, it wasn't that strong, but on warm, I have cat hair, dog hair. On warm, this really came out. It was better on warm, so I was happy with it. On the seventh, we had been meaning to get to, and I I used to love cereal scents, love. Um, I don't do cereal scents that much anymore, but I so I wanted to finish Cereal Killer from Rose Girls because this was so old. And um, I wrote, this is so good. It's three years old, strong all day. It went for over 12 hours. So Serial Killer I did on the 7th on been meaning to get to. Every time I opened my Rose Girls draw, I kept seeing Serial Killer. I'm like, I really got to warm that. It's been here for years. And I'm like, I just don't want cereal. But you know what? I really enjoyed it. So it was good. I think because it's getting dark out now, my lighting is changing in here. It's like it got very dark out. Maybe if I do that. Yeah, I think that's better. Oh, much better. Okay, I lowered the light in here because it got dark there. I love my, um, I have two, the Love Warmer and the Angel Wing Warmer, and they both have heart cutouts on the back. You can't see it now. I have to do when I'm done in this room. Um, a video Valentine's Day. So the hearts reflect off the green wall on both sides. But I think because my the way my camera is, you can't see it. Um, you could just see the heart on one. But if you look at that one, you could see the hearts on the back wall. I'm going to um, Hobby Lobby this week because I want to get, I want to do it very pink in here on my white fireplace and decorate my mantle. And like with something, I don't know what yet. Um, but I want to make it very pinky and green and white for Valentine's Day. I'll do a video when I'm done. But I started to pull out like my, va those are perfect Valentine warmers because the love warmer has the um, hearts and then the angel wing warmer has the big heart and they both reflect hearts cut out. I love those two warmers and they're great deals. Just saying. Um, on the 14th was did not get to something you did not get to in December, which is today. I'm warming this. Yes, today. It's already so late. I've been up since six o'clock this morning. So I feel like what day am I even on? So something I did not get to that I pulled to get to and has been sitting out. One is the three eyed Raven from super tarts. And this is from July of 22. Palo Santo, Sweet Lavender, Vanilla Birch, Marshmallow Fireside, and Cold Air. I know this is a favorite with many. It's just not of mine. And um, medium. I give it low to medium, but I have it in my open concept. And this was a tub. I used the whole tub in this family room today. And I have hot plates. Two, one, two. One, two, three, one up there. Three hot plates, my warmers. So the Three Eyed Raven would not be a repurchase for me, which is fine. And then this I did really like. And I have this going in my kitchen and dining room today. This was a souffle of cozy cookie cake and balsam from Teddy Bees. And this is... Vanilla balsam, Fraser fir, blended with our cozy cookie cake, warm iced white cake beach treats, marshmallow fireside, and signature sugar cookie poured October of 22. This was really good. It's already done though. Like I put it in at six this morning. It's um, it's like six at night. Oh, um, you really can't smell it anymore. So the whole morning from like six to one, I even wrote myself a note. That cookie is the top new. It is so good. Loved it. I actually have another whole tub of this because when I got the souffle on the pre-order and I smelled it on cold, 
and she did the RTS. I wore, I got a tub of it in the RTS because I loved it so much on cold, and I'm so happy I did. So the cozy cookie cake, you could if you didn't know there was balsam in there, you wouldn't hardly pick up on it. But it was in the background because you knew it was there and you could smell it. But then after like six hours, the balsam came out more and I really, really enjoyed it. And I'm very happy that I have a tub of it and I would get this again. Really, really good. Even though at this point, 12 hours later, I can hardly smell it, but that's okay. That's okay. I enjoyed it. January 11th was creamy. Melt a creamy scent. So I finished Southbound. I've had this too for a while. It was a loaf and I had a nice sized chunk left. So I did it in the kitchen, dining room, and some of it I mixed in here and then I, I blended something else that blended good with it. The longer, Southbound is another one. The longer it sits for me, the better it gets because this is over two years old. Wild Berry Cheesecake Bread. I'm not big on cheesecake blends, but I love this. And it is Wild Berry Cheesecake and Zucchini Bread. And this was a dynamite powerhouse all day and night. And I'm so happy I let the rest sit because when I warmed the first time, I really got that cheesecake. I wasn't crazy about it. I almost was going to give the rest away and I'm happy I didn't. So it was like the third time where I finished it off and I'm like, I love it so much better than I did the first time. First time I warmed it, I was like, mm, I think I'm going to give this away. Second time I warmed it, I'm like, I think I like it a little bit better, but I don't love it. Third time I warmed it, loved it. Absolutely. It was like, don't leave the house today. Set. So that was that. Then I got through some scoops. Espresso peanut butter sugar cookie royale from L3. Oh my God. Excellent. Excellent. L3 to me, one, their coffee is so good. Love L3's coffee. And with the sugar cookie royale and the peanut butter, yum. Absolutely. We'll get more of that. Then I finished zucchini bread, brown sugar, and Fruit Loops, and I do have this in wax. So, so good. I'm not big, like I was saying, like with the cereal anymore, but I do love this blend. And then I got through a scoop of bowl, her lemon pound cake, fresh lemon sponge cake with the vanilla powdered sugar glaze. So I had a little bit, just a little, little bit left of this. It is so good. I took a couple cubes of Sensi's lemon sorbet in Axel's room in the guest bedroom. That's Axel's bedroom in the guest bedroom or across from each other. So I did lem Sensi's lemon sorbet, a cube in all the warmers in those two rooms. And I took the little bit left in here and I scooped it on top of each piece. If my daughter walked, I had the kids here yesterday and my daughter went down there and goes, mom, it smells so good down here today. And this, that's what I had going. Loved it. So that's it, guys. That is my, um, that's everything, right? That's everything. 32 minutes. If you stay till the end, thank you so much. Have a great week, everybody. Love you. Bye.